Praise the Lord. Well, I made it. I'm out here in Illinois State Beach Park. It's not far from the, from the house, about five or six minute drive, and it's beautiful, right? It's iced up over there, so I'm just, this is iced as you can see, but it's beautiful. I come out here and just chill, and in the summertime and spring, when it's warmer and fall, uh, all the seasons, it be packed out here, but because it's cold and icy, it's about 33, 34 degrees. That's a heat wave in Chicago. I like coming out here and just chilling. We have to allow the Lord to tune us, to calibrate us, to make us better. Not bitter. We go from bitter to better to no more tears. This is an old hot dog stand that they're tearing down. And um, you can buy a hot dog and popcorn and sodas and chips. It was just a nice little concession stand right here. They're tearing it down. I parked over here, so I'm just walking back toward my car. I want to get my prayers in and stuff before I started talking to y'all, speaking to y'all, as the Lord, our Father, would have me to do so, but it's a shame that uh, some of our husbands and wives, boyfriends and girlfriends, have become our oldest children. So immature, so disrespectful, so mean, so nasty, you can't take them nowhere. You know, if the person is nasty and mean in an apartment, and you with them, and you move into a house, they're going to be nasty and mean in the house. If a person is nasty and mean in an engagement or relationship, they're going to be nasty and mean in a marriage. It's, it's a shame that it takes life-altering, uh, uh, burning bush experiences, and it's biblical, in order for some of us to change. Some of us have to get a cancer diagnosis in order to be kinder. Some of us have to lose the most beautiful person in the world in the form of a divorce or death in order for us to become kinder. It's a shame. And attitude and harbor demeanors and, and being racist and bigoted, that's just, that's an addiction. It's like cocaine, heroin, and crack and meth. You fight it for years until you finally get over it. A lot of people are addicted to racism. A lot of people are addicted to being angry. A lot of people are, are addicted to political racism and, and, and divisive politics. And I mean, you fight more for the Democratic and Republican Party than you fight for your own son or daughter who's on heroin. You fight more for the Democratic or Republican Party than you fight for your marriage. You fight more for the far left or the far right than you fight for, for your drug-induced child. You fight more for the Democratic and Republican Party than you do for your own health and strength. And it's the truth. But some people just hooked on stupidity. Some people just hooked on danger. And some people got anger hooked into them. But the same levels in anger are in range. As I leave this alone. Got my cup of coffee out here just enjoying myself, y'all. But we have to seek change. We have to seek rearrange. Some of y'all 50, 60, 45, pick a number out there. And you act the same way you acted in your 20s as the way you conduct yourself in your 50s. Some of y'all disrespectful in your 20s, you act the same way in your 60s. Some of y'all were disrespectful and hellacious in your 30s, you act the same way you do in your 50s. From 18 to 40, you've been the same way. From 25 to 50, you've been the same way. When does it end or when does it change? It's, 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 a, dual, it's a dual question. When does it end and when does it change? When do you end <laughs> and when will you change? As I leave this alone, addiction can be in the form of substances. Addiction can be in the form of anger, hatred, racism. And so many of y'all are hooked on this. I know, I'm, I'm just telling it like it is. Yeah, that's why you're by yourself. I'm just straight up. Yeah, that's why you're by yourself. I just straight up tell it like it is. That's why you, you, you don't have no hand holding. You don't have no man or woman. Watch this. And as soon as somebody speaks to a handsome man, brother, every woman don't want you because you're handsome. As soon as you say something to a pretty woman, just because I said hello don't mean I'm asking you to the Holiday Inn, the Holiday Select, the Holiday Express, or the Hampton, <laughs> or the Hamptons, as I leave this alone. Beautiful though, right? This is ice and rocks and stones and, and you know, and minerals and, and here's the water. This is ice, but I got on some nice uh, shoes that grip and it's beautiful. How much longer are you going to be the same way? How much longer are you going to keep giving pain away? How much longer are you going to be a damn fool? How much longer are you going to be foolish and cruel? How much longer are you going to say everything? How much longer are you going to cuss your mama every day? How much longer are you going to rush your mom and dad? How much longer are you going to be angry and very sad? How much longer? <laughs> As I leave this alone. But God bless you. I pray your prayer as much as I pray my own. I need to change. I've changed. 
I'm changing and there's further room and improvement on the inside of me that must take place as I leave this alone. Thank you, Lord, for saving me from myself. Weak or strong, right or wrong. God has heard uh, my every prayer and my every moan. Help me, Lord. God bless you. God keep is my prayer. Father God, bless me to work on me. Please be patient with me. As the songwriter says, God is not through with me yet. I shall come forth. I shall come forth as pure gold. How much longer are you going to put over that man or woman that won't change? How many years have you thrown away and been blown away and gone away that you can't get back? I'm not advocating putting somebody out tonight, but somebody going to get put out tonight. <laughs> I pray not. I pray your resolution. I pray your solution. I pray your resolve. Everything cannot be um, resolved, but only of God our Father. But everything can be addressed. Days, weeks, months, years. How much longer are you going to be the same way? And you got the nerve and audacity to say, ain't nothing wrong with me. Yes, it is. We all have room inside of us in our mind and hearts and lives for improvement. Peace. One.